Man, alhamdulillah. I still can't believe how all these people connected with the last video and wanted to learn the Quran immediately. This is a big responsibility and I'm going to do my best to try to help them. May Allah help us fulfill our duties towards his book. What does the alif sound like a a ah here as a heavy letter? Versus alameen, a a. Hmm, interesting. That's very beautiful. Oh, hey, it's really good what you're doing there, mashallah. Yeah, alhamdulillah. I was I was actually practicing. You know, like seven letters always heavy. I like that. It's actually really nice. I, li I like where you're going with this. But I actually came across something here, and I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah I was listening, and about that, you know. When I said all the remaining letters are always light. Yep, yep. Uh, I kind of lied there. What, what do you mean? I held out some information just because I didn't want to overwhelm you with all the exceptions and specifications. So I just wanted to lay down all the basic information first and then add another layer to it. But now that you're ready for the next step, here it is. Okay, so we're still discussing the heavy versus light letters, but now we're expanding our knowledge by adding three special letters and we'll place them right in the middle here between the two main categories, the heavy and light letters. So we have three special letters that sometimes can be heavy, sometimes can be light, depending on some conditions. But don't worry, they're actually easy to understand. I'm going to try to break them down as much as possible here. And if you have any questions, for me please let me know in the comments so first special letter here is the letter raw and I'm going to dedicate a video for it to discuss all the conditions but for now what I want you to understand is anything that has to do with a fatha or a bumma makes the raw heavy so we have rabban and we say raw raw or kafa ru but anything that has to do with a kasra, with some exceptions, we'll talk about them later. Generally speaking, makes the ra tarqiq or light. So we say kari ri ri, and you can see now that I can't say kari or ri or ri. You can't do it. It's just unnatural. So we say kari ri ri versus kafaru and rabbana. The second special letter is the letter lam. And I want you to understand here that lam is always light, except in the word Allah. Then it's always heavy. So we say Allah, Allah to glorify the name of Allah, Allah. And notice how I'm saying a, 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 and not a, a, Allah, right? So I'm not influencing the a light by the heaviness of the lam of Allah, right? So I go a, 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 Allah with a quick transition to the lam after. Allahu nuru, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard, like that. So, lamb is always light, except in the word Allah, it's always heavy, but then we have some exceptions after. So, anytime the word Allah is preceded by a kasra, or preceded by a ya, or preceded by a tanween, then we switch to la. So we say anillah, right? Or afillahi shakkun afillahi. Notice how I'm not saying anillah or fillah. And the last condition here is when it's preceded by tanween. So we say qawmanillah. Qawmanillah. I'm not going to talk about specifics and why we switch to la. Just remember that anytime the word Allah is preceded by kasra or ya or tanween then we switch back to light. So we go back to the original case of lamb, 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 and not la, la, la anymore. Now the third special letter is actually a, a extension. So we're talking about the a medda, a, a, okay? And notice here that I'm not adding a hamza here on top because we're not talking about this letter here. So the rule for the a extension is it just follows the letter before it. So if you have a light letter before, you say ah, so alamin. But if it has a heavy letter before, 
you just say oh so just like والضالين. and you don't switch midway through the word so you can't say عالمي or go back trying to mimic the at sound at sound with the hamza no we just keep the the flow of the previous letter so we say or another common example in the quran would be the word so you don't say or right you don't switch midway again you just say and you keep it until you hit the light letter after and then you switch to a light letter so right and then another example for uh, the, the light uh, is for example Adam so you say you don't say ah Adam or something right it's just, it's just weird right <laughs> so in summary here we have right but we have Adam alamin. I hope that this makes sense and we're just gonna end it here that makes more sense now. So we don't switch midway through the a uh, extension, and it could be a uh, or a. Uh. Yeah, and it makes it a lot easier too. But you see how we're building up these layers now. So what about the letter ra? Yeah, that we'll talk about it later in the journey. But for now, add today's lesson to your arsenal of Quran recitation. Keep practicing and elevating. Don't forget to like and share to spread the knowledge of the Quran. And I can't wait to see you in the next video, inshallah.